In this tutorial I will show you the character feature of Ready Replace. A drag and drop the files of interest into the program, define special character, replace the X with the character number 97, replace it with the character with the number 98 and add. In each file there are three replacements pending in the file contents, which we execute. And now we'll explain you how this is done in detail. Every character has its own ASCII number from 0 to 255 or with a hexadecimal number 02FF and can be addressed with ready replace individually. Here this is a table with some decimal numbers and their characters. All uppercase letters, all small case letters and also the letters with accents and umlauts. But you can also access special characters like a line break for example. Alright, now let's get started. We drag and drop the files where we want to replace some ASCII characters. To see the contents of the file, just press enter. We see the file has this little text here that could be part of a web page, for example. Every character you see here has a certain ASCII number and also the characters which are not displayed properly. But now let's replace this character A. Remember, the small character has the ASCII number 97. Let's close this window and double click on the replacement window. Right click here and select from the special character menu CHR. Instead of the X, type in a character number between 0 and 255. In our case 97, which is the small a. Let's copy that and paste it here. We want to replace this character with another one with the number 98, which is the small b actually. By the way, instead of the CHR you could as well use the hexadecimal pendant CHR hex where you type in the character number in base 16. That means any number between 0 and FF. I will cover this in the next tutorial. And I have to add here that this example is a bit pointless because you could actually write A in the replacement window and B in the replacement window instead of using the CHR feature. But again, in the next tutorial you will see a proper example where we'll replace the Unix line breaks with Windows line breaks and vice versa and there you're gonna have to use the CHR or CHR hex. Okay, let's add that. Ready Replace indicates there will be three replacements in each file, that means in the file contents. Let's execute it. Okay, and now let's take a look at the file. Hit Enter and the characters A are replaced with the character B as expected.